So today I am filming Grayson's one month old um, update. He is a month old and I cannot believe time is going by so fast. He's getting so big and he's a little grumpy so I'm not sure how long I'll be able to um, record this right now. I might have to come back to it but I wanted to get him in it because it's all about him. So, uh, like I said, Grayson is one month old today. We took him to the doctors and he weighs 10 pounds, seven ounces, and he is 23 inches long. Aren't you? He's a big boy, he's a chunker. He's chunky boy, aren't you? Yay. <laughs> um, he has started talking just a little bit um, more towards the end here. Um, he sleeps about four to five hours every night. Um, so he's a, actually a really good sleeper. Um, he sleeps mostly through the day too. Usually he will be awake in the mornings and then he'll fall asleep around noon or one. And then um, from then until around six, he'll just sleep. Usually he'll wake up once for a feed, um, but then go right back to sleep. After that, uh, from six until um, midnight, he'll be up, um, midnight or 11. Um, sometimes he uh, will fall asleep from six to eight and then he'll be up from eight to midnight. Sometimes he won't. Um, the thing about this guy is he's never consistent during the day. Um, sometimes he'll be awake in the morning. Sometimes he'll sleep all morning until one and then be up for the rest of the day. Um, there's never really any telling with him, but thankfully during the night, he's pretty consistent. He'll go to sleep around 11 or midnight. He'll get up around three or four, and then he'll get up again around seven or eight. So it's really not too bad. Um, how he's doing um, compared to other babies his age, I want to say. So Grayson has been um, opening and closing his hands just a little bit. Um, he, we've been doing tummy time. Uh, we couldn't do that until his umbilical cord fell off. And so that his umbilical cord didn't fall off until like after two weeks. Um, he was a little over two weeks old when it finally fell off. That was um, a little difficult for us because we weren't allowed to do tummy time and bath time was really hard because we had to do sponge baths. Um, so after that fell off, we've been doing tummy time and he's good. He'll lift his head up a little bit. He does not like tummy time though. Um, he'll usually do it for mm, a minute or maybe less and then, um, and then he'll just get tired of it. Um, but he's doing good. He tries to lift his head up. Aw, you say hi? <laughs> you can see he's chunky, he's got the legs, he's got the double chin going. Um, I am only breastfeeding him right now, exclusively breastfeeding, we have not used formula yet. Um, and it's going really well, he's a really good eater. Um, and uh, my milk supply has been doing really well keeping up with him. Um, it gets a little difficult in the evenings just because he, he tends to cluster feed in the evening, I think to get ready for like a big sleep every night. And so it's a little hard for me to keep up with him, but it just means I have to feed him a little bit more in the evenings. He loves going on walks. Um, I'll put a little video here of us going on a walk. So he loves walks, he usually conks out when we go on them. Um, it's summertime here now, so I try to take him out, but sometimes it gets really, really hot outside, so I try to take him out on cooler days, um, just because he hasn't really regulated his body temperature yet. Now that he is a month old, I have taken him out of his newborn clothes, although some of his newborn clothes still fit him, like this is a newborn outfit. Um, so some of them are a little bigger, but really he's mostly in zero to three month clothing, clothing right now. He hates being in his car seat. He absolutely hates it, but he loves car rides. He conks right out for them, which we are very thankful for because we have family that lives, um, you know, over two hours away. And so we'll have to do a lot of drives coming up. So it's good to know that he is good at drive uh, with drives. Um, bath time, he's not so sure about. Um, he doesn't really cry but he doesn't really love it either. Um, last week I gave him a bath and he pooped in the bathtub. Um, he also peed the other day in the bathtub too, which I mean, he's naked, so that's just kind of what I get myself into, but he's not really sure about it right now. 
Um, we just have a little tub um, that we put in our kitchen sink and it seems to work really fine. Um, they say not to bathe the baby too much when they're this young just because they have sensitive skin. Um, and so we've been doing it um, twice a week. Um, also, he does seem to have really sensitive skin, so he we had regular wipes in the beginning, and we had to move to sensitive wipes because he got a really bad rash um, about, uh, he was a week old, I'd say. So we have switched to that, and he seems to be doing much better. Um, we had uh, butt paste uh, cream that we put on his butt, and it seemed to really, really help him. Um, out and it cleared up right away. We got his newborn pictures done this month. He was um, a week old when we got them. I mean, he looks a little different now because he's a month old, but um, yeah, I had so much fun getting those newborn pictures done. They were, we were there for three and a half hours and he slept the whole time. I had to feed him once during the halfway, um, but he has been doing really good. Um, now that he's four weeks old, we have started to introduce the pacifier and bottles to him. Um, the doctors wanted us to wait until at least three or four weeks, um, until he got like his, um, you know, breastfeeding down and he wouldn't have nipple confusion. And so, um, we have introduced that and he is great with it. He loves his pacifier. I think it's going to be very hard to wean him off when he gets older, but he loves his pacifier. Um, and he loves um, bottles. He does great with bottles, which is good because, you know, anytime we want to go out, um, we need somebody else to feed him. I can't take him with me. Um, so I've been pumping a lot and um, it's been good. In the beginning, I had a lot of milk and so I was able to pump, um, you know, full bottles you know, four or five ounces at a time. Um, now that my milk is getting more established, it's not as much. Um, but usually when he feeds, he only eats like one boob at a time and it fills him up. So usually I feed him on one boob and then I just pump the other one. Um, so that's been getting a really good supply down. We have our first like babysitter coming up. My mom is gonna babysit for him um, when I have my uh, six week postpartum doctor's appointment. So hopefully that goes well. It'll only be like two hours, but still I'm like really nervous. Um, also next month I'm in a wedding and so I'll be gone all day and my sister is gonna come and babysit him. And so that's gonna be like a real, real babysitting job. So hopefully it goes well. He better be good. Uh, it just like in the past week, he seemed to uh, lock on more, make more eye contact. Um, he seems to, you know, just really be a little bit more active. Not to be mean, but he has been a little boring um, these first couple weeks just because he just eats, cries, poops, that's it. I've gotten very good at diaper changes. Um, Anthony's been great with Grayson. He loves him. Um, you know, he, he went back to work after two weeks. Um, and he, uh, loves coming home to Grayson. Um, he loves interacting with him. Um, we have noticed this past week, Grayson has started to get very fussy in the evenings. Um, I've read online that it's called like the witching hour. Um, and it's like anywhere from like six to nine and it's just babies get more fussy. They just like get very overstimulated during the day just with like everything. And so they have to just like let it out by crying and being fussy in the evenings. Uh, we've definitely been noticing that. So that's been kind of a challenge. Also, it has seemed that he has been dealing with a lot of like gas um, lately. And so um, I did go out and get some gas drops and they do seem to help. Um, but he just seems to really, they just seem to really affect him, those gas. Huh, you don't like your gas. So as far as things go, one month old, um, it's actually going really, really great. Um, breastfeeding has been going great. He's been sleeping really good. Um, I don't feel exhausted. I definitely don't get a full night's sleep, but I feel, ex I, you know, I don't feel exhausted. The first couple days when we came from home from the hospital, um, he was up every hour at night. Um, but that only lasted like a day or two. And then he was to like three hours every, every three hours he would wake up and now it's four to five. So he's been doing really good. He's an awesome baby. I love being his mommy. Um, and we will come back at two months and I'll show you what's going on at two months, huh? You say bye to everybody. Say bye. Um, I'll input a couple clips right here of just different, um, moments that we've had with Grayson over the past month. 
um, for you guys to enjoy. Also, put in the comments below, who do you think he looks more like, me or Anthony? I can't tell. I can't tell who he looks more like. He's just chunky. <laughs> he definitely has my nose um, and Anthony's chin and mouth, but I don't know. I, I definitely wanted a blonde baby, and he's not blonde. He's got dark hair. <laughs> so, uh, okay. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>